Hi, welcome. In this tutorial, we'll go over the for loops and the if conditions on the R programming language. And also, I will show you how to create a, a column in a data frames very easily, which is very handy and required most of the time in the data science or exploratory data science analysis. So let's start with first with showing you a simple for loop. So let's create a vector. A vector with a one, two, five. Okay, so we have one, two, five. The vector, let's loop through it. We can also loop through five. We can also do uh, five here, but I like to use the like more uh, realistically how we sh usually people we do in the real life so a length will give us the it goes from i from one to five which is a length is five for this x and then let's say we will square whatever the value of x and assign to as a y variables And now if I see what's in the y, we see for each x, it squares its value. So now let's start with some uh, data. So let's bring some data set. So in R, we have the iris data set. This is a most probably common data set available. So let's see what's inside this data set Oops. Okay. i did this okay so in this data set basically this data set is of the flowers so it says if the flower uh sepal dot length is uh, 5.1 and if its width is 3.5 and petal dot length is 1.4 and petal dot width is 0 0.2 that's the that's a setosa species of the flower similarly it has a bunch of ranges and then we'll explore this later on but if you see most probably it has and then similarly it has very coarse very color Versicolor, I mean Virginicia. These are the three kinds of species it has. So let's see. If you want to see what you can use a unique function and in iris, let's see the species. So we see it has the three kinds, three which shows as a level as well: Satosa, Versicolor, and Virginia. Okay, so we'll explore this data set later on, but let's focus back on. So let's try to create a column here. So if the species is, uh, let's say if the species, sorry, if the species is uh, Virginia, we assign some number to it. And if it's Satosa, then we assign some other numbers. Okay, so let's do that. So let's to use the for loop together with i so for i in one two iris basic uh and rose basically goes to the, the length of the records in this data set so if we want to show you specifically what how many rows in this data set so basically it's 150 so instead of hard coding here 150 i think it's better to use some good way to references so yes if in future mm, okay so next is what we'll see we create a so if statement so basically if to syntax of if let's go to the syntax of if so if syntax is pretty 
if you see on the right side it's pretty straightforward if if we have some condition then do something and if else we have condition then do something so i'll show you one example and then afterwards so we so let's say we say if iris species each but since this is a vector then we have to go one row at a time and then if it's equals to let's say Sertosa, then we create a new iris species status let's say one now we create another column and then we assign its value to let's say zero else if let's try to okay uh, i can copy it but okay i don't want to be lazy so let me type full spaces with i Okay, if it's, let's say, if it's Virginia, then we assign species status one. So all we're saying is if this species is equals to this, then in create a new columns and assign the value zero. And if it's Virginica, then assign of the flower type Virginica, then assign the type two. Otherwise, I think we can say otherwise just copy this. Okay. Oh. Otherwise, let's do it one. So it shows we have this is for the for loop. Now we select all this and enter. So now it's get. So let's see what's happened to our iris data set. So we see in our iris data set as Sertosa, this is zero. Okay, that's great. And then it's for very C color it's one. So for where C color this is one and for Virginica we put it two. So let's say for this we can also if the data set is quite big then we can also use it. So you see so species Virginica then is species two. There is another way of doing this instead of looping all in one by one in each row so basically how what is happening behind the scene r will go in each line and check its value and then assign a column we can do all this in an easy way so let's put in another way of assigning value to column is using if else so let's say in so we have we'll create another so iris so this time instead of species status one let me try species status two so we can also compare so all it can be done in one line if else so let's see its syntax first so if else is saying if this is true then do this otherwise do this otherwise do no so in, it's instead of this all these two things we can write in a one line so now we can say iris and the beauty of this is we don't have to loop it will do everything in one line so you can if it's pieces so let me copy this so 
don't want to so now if this is a condition and now we assign its value to zero otherwise we'll say it should be one right okay so if i assign this now we still need this virginica so what we'll do copy copy this this one don't want to be if we think if it's virginica then we want its value to be two otherwise just leave it whatever was it so iris species status two so this is here we did the trick so we so we assign so first we split this the vector or the column into two pieces. so here if we if i didn't i didn't run this but i already run this you can notice here so here if i go to here in the iris data set we see the values are certosa for zero but for all other one uh, versi color and the virginica is all one but now we want to split this to again because this one it's actually it should be two not one and rest we leave it so what we are doing here so we're saying for virginica put it two but leave other one as it is so once if i update this one with this command so now it's properly match you see this is all one this is all two so this is the beauty of R. So instead of, I suggest don't go over looping again because we can work in a vector with R. So basically instead of doing each list, which makes right now is only 150 rows in Iris database, but in the real time, the data sets are huge, maybe half a million or a million records. Then it's easy to use this kind of function. And believe me, I, I use this on half a million and 1 million to use this if else functions a lot and it's, it's it's very fast i really like this so that's why i didn't spend much of i want i spent a lot of time on this video to explain this from the ground up so first we go from uh, zero level where we see okay if one loop at a time and then how we can do it more efficiently so and also it's if you can do in two lines what's the point of writing the big code the shorter is better okay and also we can double check our iris data set as so see for sotosa is matching zero and for iris which is we know at the bottom so it's two here okay, okay so thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video. Bye.